The world continues paying tribute after Queen Elizabeth II died on Thursday in Scotland. Gun salutes were fired across Great Britain earlier today, along with the sounding of church bells about 7 a.m. our time. Elizabeth II was the UK's longest reigning monarch. A two week period of mourning is now underway. Live pictures now from Buckingham Palace in London. People have been gathering in the streets and leaving flowers and keepsakes in tribute to the Queen. This morning, Elizabeth's son, now King Charles III, greeted crowds outside the palace in London. About an hour from now, he's set to deliver an address to the nation. Let's get the latest now from the UK with Tina Kraus. King Charles III arrived at Buckingham Palace to a sea of well-wishers and mourners. He shook hands and paused for photos ahead of his speech to the nation. He's expected to pay tribute to his mother and speak about the future of the United Kingdom under his reign. The last time the Queen signed off a national address, she signed it off as your servant. And I know that's very much the approach that he has, so I expect a little bit of that in there as well. Queen Elizabeth II was 96 years old when she died yesterday at Balmoral Castle, her summer home in Scotland. Across the UK, gun salutes were fired Friday to honor Britain's longest reigning monarch. While the Queen remains in Scotland, many are coming here to her primary residence, Windsor Castle, to pay their respects. They are leaving flowers, notes, and looking back very fondly on their Queen. We knew this day would come, but I think it's just hit everybody as a nation like a bolt of lightning, really. We feel as though we've lost our own grandmother. Funeral details have not yet been announced. It is known there will be a public viewing in Scotland before the Queen is flown to London. She will lie in state in Westminster Hall for four days, where hundreds of thousands of people are expected to file past her closed casket. A procession will escort her body to Westminster Abbey nearby for the funeral. The Queen will be buried in St. George's Chapel in Windsor Castle, next to her husband, Prince Philip. The king's wife, Camilla, now known as Queen Consort, is by his side today. The coronation of King Charles III is not expected for several months. 